Hey family, it's Christy. I'm the Mobile Home Diva. And in today's video, I am going to be touring the Honeysuckle. It is a three bedroom, two bath home. It's out here at America's Home Center. And I'm super excited to tour the homes that they have here. So let's get right into the video. so this is the entryway i'm sorry that i couldn't start the video outside like i normally do but they are uh taking care of the lawn right now this is the entryway you got this nice hardwood floor at the entry which is awesome because you can take your shoes off take your coat off right at the door and and hang it up in your coat closet you got a decent size coat closet you know this home is on the site so um everything is in put up and put together as it would be once the house was delivered excuse me once the house was um, built at your site um but it does have a coat closet right at the entryway so that's a cute little entry and you got it's a nice size entry so you can put a bench here and decorate it really nicely now off the front door is your living room area. This is the living room. I love, love, love those three big windows. You can put a nice deck out there. You've got a real fireplace in here, which is super cool. Now this isn't completely open, but it's so open that you can see into the kitchen here and the dining room there. So this is the living room. I'll give you a view of the living room from over here by the windows, that's your front door right there. We'll explore those other rooms shortly, but this is your living room. Let's get an up close of the real fireplace. And you got a nice mantle here on the fireplace. Lovely, lovely, lovely. All right, so through here to the kitchen, you've got uh space you got a door here that leads out to the deck you've got all of these windows space for and you know this is much bigger than just the eat-in area i see an eat-in area uh over here maybe and maybe a little play area for the kids or vice versa you could also put like a classroom area play in addition to a playroom, like set up desks for the kids to do their homework. But this is a nice big space uh, inside of the kitchen. Also in this uh, model home, the kitchen area is mighty small. So imagine how you could work with the home builders to refigure this kitchen and bring these cabinets on around here. And then you would just have this space over here for your eating kitchen area. That's just my thoughts. I would bring the cabinets all the way down, turn the island around facing this way, and then have this area as an eating kitchen. And again, remember, because this is a model home, this home isn't configured exactly how you would have it if you built it. For instance, we have the one pendant light here, with an a island that size, you would have three pendant lights. But this is a model home just to show you what you could get in the home. You've got nice granite countertops, deep sink, beautiful cabinets, beautiful cabinets. You've got your uh, Whirlpool. I was trying to show it to you. That's Whirlpool. Whirlpool appliances in here. 
we'll open the refrigerator. This is the refrigerator side. That's the freezer side. Not necessarily the refrigerator that you will order, but this is the one they have in the model home. Let's take a look in the cabinets. This is the corner cabinet. Nice deep cabinet. Nice use of space. Nice space in there too. Really lovely. Beautiful cabinet. So this is your kitchen, you guys. I'll come over here by the window and give you another look at the kitchen. Okay, so off the living room, you have the kitchen. Now you can access the dining room from the kitchen and you can also access the dining room from this side of the living room. And I love that it has the extra wide entry into this room. This is your dining room. It's the light and bright in here. Cut the light off so it won't be too super bright. You've got two huge windows in this dining room. You have nice space for a dining room table. It'd be quite cozy. And again, you can access the kitchen from there. Really lovely. So this is your dining room. This is really nice. This is enough space for my husband and I. Three bedroom, two bath. Between the dining room and kitchen, you have your pantry right here. Really lovely. Did I show you the lower cabinets? I don't think I showed you the lower cabinets. So we'll do a pan of the lower, lower cabinets. I don't wanna spend a whole lot of time in here. Got a lot of other houses to see today. But I just wanted to share as many features of the home as I can. So I'm back in the living room and standing uh, closest to the front door. And from here to the right is the kitchen and dining room. Now, we're going to go, let's see. Yeah, we'll see the additional bedrooms first. So over here, this is a doorway off the dining room that leads to this part of the house. You've got two bedrooms and a bathroom on this side. This uh, first door in the hall is a linen closet. So you got a linen closet here in the hallway. This first bedroom is they call it bedroom number three on the specs. 10 foot, three inches by 11 feet. 10, three by 11 is the size of this bedroom. Love the big tall windows in this home. This bedroom actually has the, I think you would call those transom windows. Normally transom window is one big window, but it's an extension above the windows. I think those are transom as well. A lot of natural light in this house. Really nice. So this is your closet for bedroom number three. It's called, you, when you see the specs, it's bedroom number three. Next to bedroom number three is bedroom number two. This is 11-4. You know, I think I got it backwards. This is bedroom three. It's uh, 10, three by 11. Yeah, this is bedroom three. Now the first bedroom we saw was bedroom number two. It was 11, four by 11. This is 10, three by 11, slightly smaller. But a decent sized bedroom for the kids or for an office. You know, we don't have children, so I'm always looking for a good old office, honey. She shack space. That's your closet for this bedroom. And then you actually have two closets in here. All right, so 
Yep, you have two closets in this room. Okay. So this is bedroom number three. And then your bathroom is right here. Now these countertops are different from the kitchen, but of course if you order, you could get the same countertops. Nice size bathroom. Really nice. Okay, now we've seen the additional bedrooms. We're going to go back through the living room. That's the front door, just to let you know where we are. Now on this side, you've got this door and it's gonna be locked because there's not a garage out there. This door would lead to the garage, okay? Now, you've got your utility room here. That's where your washer and dryer would go. So you got your utility room off of the garage. And then you've got another coat closet here. Good for storage, okay? And then that is your master. So let's go into the master. The master is 15.6 by 15.1. So a really nice size master. Really nice size master. Put your headboard here between these two windows. And this is what you see from the bed. All right. First door we have here is your master closet. Nice size master closet. Love that it is in the bedroom and not the bathroom. And then next to the master closet is the master bath. So when you walk in the master bath, your sofa tub is to the right. You've got a window that opens there. You've got double sinks here, okay? Behind the double sinks, you've got a nice size shower, which also has a seat, and then your water closet is right here. Inside your water closet, you've got your linen closet. Really nice. All right, so again, this is the honeysuckle. It's out at American Home Place. All of the information that I have on this home will be in the description box. Um, I did fail to mention, let me go ahead and tell you now, that um, this house would come with a covered porch, which would be out here in this area. So this would be a covered porch. Um, if you so choose, uh, all the information that I have on this home will be in the description box total square footage for this home is 2,379 square feet. I don't have the price if you're interested. You can either go to AmericanHomePlace.com or look in the description box for the phone number and information to this home, okay?